So this courgette plant, which I thought was on its way out, has started flowering again. So I've got a few little courgettes down there, which is quite nice. And I think I might try and get them before they get too big because I did gain a few marrows last time. So we'll say it's nice to have a few small courgettes. It's quite exciting. <coughs> More cucumbers. One down there. One there. So what? Four or five. And my peppers are finally doing something. It's quite a big pepper. I think someone's been nibbling it, but I'm not quite happy with that. I think next year I probably only grow one and just focus on the one pepper plant, I think. Yeah. So the sun's coming out for the moment. It appeared for a gap then between the clouds, but it is about 18 degrees here, so it is quite warm. So I've still got these to harvest. I'm quite chuffed with these. I actually grew sweet corn. <laughs> it's like a carrot and a beetroot had a baby. That is probably the roundest carrot I've seen. Apart from the several small round carrots that are meant to be round, but yeah. Ta da! I think I'm going to harvest all the beetroot because it's starting to get nibbled and I know it's not so good to leave it in the ground for long, I think. So I think I'm just going to harvest it all. I did make beetroot hummus, which is really nice. I think with these I might pickle them and put them in a jar. That's the plan. So yeah, as you can see I've got quite a lot of caterpillar slug damage going on. This is one of my, or one of three cabbages I planted and starting to nibble in there. So I think it's quite a good size. So I think I might take it out, create some more space in here and hope it's not too damaged and I can try and find the culprits like those guys. Hopefully, that's not too bad. So yeah, I managed to pick off as many slugs as I could but there's quite a lot of slug damage. It's not too bad, I took out the one which had the most damage and as you can see it's not too bad. But I have to keep an eye on it. Um, one thing that is interesting, like my butternut squash here, I've just noticed one flower back my butternut squash back home. Although I'm thinking now it might be a pumpkin. They've started to get little fruits, which is really cool. So I hope they don't drop off. They were a unplanned plant, it was from some compost. I have a little oak tree called Thorin, Thorin Oak and Shear like of um, The Hobbit and it shares a pot with this kind of unplanned pumpkin slash butternut squash so I really hope it doesn't drop the fruit. 
So yeah, we'll see if that produces any fruit back home. Uh, and back there I've got, I'll do a, a little recap of what I have growing back at my house. So I guess this is the second major harvest. So I've got my regular carrots and the mini carrots. I still can't believe how big these carrots are, but I think I'm gonna make carrot soup and freeze it. And um, got beetroot here, which I think I might pickle, if that's the right term. And um, I've got a sweet corn, so I'll probably boil that and have it with butter. A few peas, the peas are nearly pretty much gone for the season. Tiny cucumber, which I saved um, my tomatoes and cabbage so I've got three of these this is one of them I think I think I might make my way through this one and come back for the other I was able to clean this from all the slug nastiness but yeah so no it's a good little harvest so far I am learning a lot I think I will make a video where I, I go through what I would do differently next year especially in the polytunnel that's the first time um, having one so I will definitely go through some things I would definitely change um, so yeah so this is Thorin named after of the Hobbit who shares his little plant pot with a tomato plant and I think a pumpkin 